Hey, it's Ernie at Renaissance Firearms. I am really excited today. I'm pushing 60. I've been shooting since I was 18. Owned guns since I was 18. I grew up shooting revolvers. I just love revolvers. I really love Colt revolvers, but you just about have to sell a kidney to get a Colt revolver these days. They're just so expensive. But Smith & Wesson's still in production with revolvers. They've not ever never given up on that. Um, I have a Model 19 uh, K Comp. Uh, a few years ago, they came out with the Model um, L Comp, which was an L frame, three inch barreled, heavy um, heavy frame gun. This is a lighter frame. This is the K frame gun. Still a six shot revolver. It's based off the Model 19. Like I say, it's a three inch barrel that's ported, has a night sight, uh, just a regular black sight at the back. Looks like it's got some sort of Cerakote type finish on it. Comes with uh, what they call a boot grip, this beautiful rosewood grip. Also comes with a second grip here that's black, uh, rubbery grip. We're just gonna shoot this because it's just so beautiful. Like I say, I love revolvers. I love, this is a performance center gun, which means it's got a tuned trigger. Looks like it's got an overstop, uh, over travel screw right there. Um, like I say, I just love their revolvers. They just shoot so good. The, to me, the double action shoots better than the single action in some ways. It is just a, such a smooth, consistent pull that you can really get into. Um, once you get on target, it's just really nice to shoot. Um, it doesn't stack like some of the Colts do. Uh, the Colt revolvers, I think, are a little bit smoother, like especially single action. There's nothing like a Colt Python or Diamondback. I mean, that's just like um, glass. It's just fantastic. But I think these guns honestly shoot just a little bit better. And they say that the Smith & Wesson guns, they're not as good as they used to. I think they're better than they used to be. The finish may not be quite what it was, the bluing from the 50s and the 60s. Those guns were just drop dead gorgeous. The bluing was fantastic. And nothing beats the Colt Royal Blue finish that you can find. But the metals they use in there, the engineering, they never stop improving these guns. They're always tweaking. If you look on the inside of the crane, it'll say, uh, let's, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Let's see if I can even see it. Yeah. It says 19, 19 9. What that means, it's a model 19. This has been through nine revisions. Every time they do a revision on this gun, meaning they change how it locks up, they change the, the way they actually can see how they change the barrel profile. They did the barrel differently on this one. Every time they do that, they put a little dash and put a number by that. The collectors love the no dash guns because that means it's the first series, like buying a first edition book. But really, the, the higher the number, the better, because they keep making improvements on this. And I can see a lot of difference in this, this gun. I've got a Model 19 that's uh, that first edition, of Model 19 No Dash. I can see a lot of differences here. But I guarantee you this is probably a better gun, because it's just got better metal in it, better engineering, better tolerances. They just keep improving. We're going to go down to the range and shoot some. We'll shoot it both in 357 and 38. That's the beauty of having a 357 revolver. You can shoot both. So let's walk on down and uh, try it out. So that's not too bad. Um, Let's put some spray paint on it. We'll shoot six more, 357. Well, it looks like it's right in there now. Um, That could be very accurate. Like I say, the recoil almost non existent. If you're shooting 38 plus P's or 38, very, very, very mild. But 357, that ported barrel really keeps it from rising. Uh, just get out there and practice with it. Make sure you get your sights adjusted where you want because they are adjustable, depending on your load. So check it out at Renaissance Firearms and have a great day. Like our YouTube videos, comment on them. Tell us what you like, what you don't like. We're always wanting to do more. 
come on down and see us at Renaissance and have a great day.